All right, let me just start by saying it's an honor to talk in such a wonderful crowd today. Thank you. Uh, so my name is Daniel, as you can see. And well, my story starts when I was nine years old. I was watching TV just like any normal day. Then my dad came home with something in his hand. It was a Microsoft Office CD. I remembered using that in school once. I remembered how amazing it was. So I ran home, I, mean, I ran to my computer to install it right away. And then I started playing around with the shapes and making them form different shapes. And soon I was creating all sorts of new things that I never knew I could do before. And then I found out the power of hyperlinking, which in a nutshell is making a button do an action. So let's fast forward to the summer of sixth grade. I was still playing with PowerPoint almost every day, but this, but this summer, I didn't just want to watch my life pass me by. So I looked up some tutorials online on how to make an app, because I was really intrigued by the whole app developing process. And I found out it wasn't that different from what I was doing before with PowerPoint. So I made a couple apps. This is my first one that I'm most proud of. It's called Don't Touch the Ground. It's a simple puzzle game uh, on the App Store. Really the goal is to make a small cube man fall on a platform without touching the ground. Uh, I have multiple level, I had multiple worlds in which the play styles are significantly different, and each world has unlockable levels. This app took me about uh, two or one to two months to make, and yeah, I'm really proud of it because this is the first app I made that I thought ever actually looked good. Uh, this is my second app that I'm most proud of. It's a naughty scanner. It's, <laughs> it's basically just a finger scanner for the Christmas holidays. Uh, I made it to try to make a profit because I realized that I'm making apps now, so why not try to make money off it? Uh, so I released this last Christmas season and it made me over $300, so I'm pretty proud of this. As you can see, I was nice. <laughs> and after I made these apps, I convinced my mom and dad to pay the $100 to put them on the app store. And yeah, they're amazing parents. I just want to thank them here. <laughs> and now the theme, navigating through multiple worlds. When in seventh grade, my teacher, Ms. Beck, told us that TEDx was coming here. And instantly, I got excited. But then she told me the theme, which was navigating through multiple worlds. And then I got sad, because I figured that had nothing to do with me. I'm just an app developer. I'm not some sort of spaceman. But then I pondered the question a little more. I pondered the theme a little more, sorry. Uh, navigating through multiple worlds. I realized the way I go from being an average public school student to being some type of businessman, the way I go from being restricted to what society wants me to be and being in my own complete creative control. It's navigating through multiple worlds more so than even space travel. Thank you.